um, we had a had this stuff arise about a character that would would happen on the center stage here, mm-hmm. but shortly thereafter, due to an entirely different set of thinking about things, we went to the um, CFR, the Council for Foreign Relations, right. and I did what's known as an extract. I ran some some programs against their publicly published uh, data, <laughs> and one of the things I found was that. Hmm, uh, they have this kind of weird view of themselves in terms of a lot of the language they use in self-referential um, uh, uh, sorts of discussions. And I was able to model an entity that we called the powers that be. Okay. And when we ran that next, which I think was in Alta 605, which would have been probably June, uh, we came up with uh, this new data, and we modeled it out as a woman of dark aspect. Right blind in both eyes, lame in both uh, legs, who had a dread companion. Now, the way that dread arose, it came in in such a way that I took it to mean a dreadlocked companion. Right. Uh, we then go on to find out that this individual is blooded with this woman, and that the blooded aspect is uh, surrounded or, or couched in evil. Uh, I never ever maintained that that relationship was evil. I always saw it, said that it, you know it's surrounded by it, it is involved in it, and that there was this level of protection being provided by this dread companion. And to be quite honest, the powers that be are extremely scared of this dread companion, like shaken in their boots kind of thing. That's the information we get from our data. Well, that doesn't fit Cindy Sheehan. But it does in a weird kind of way if you look at it from the powers that be viewpoint. Okay. And and I don't want to be a person who trades on another individual's grief. Yeah. So we won't go there. But just imagine that I've gotten this wrong again. That the woman with dark aspect is Cindy Sheehan laboring under the dark aspect. That her dread companion providing protection is the moral authority given to her by her dead child who was killed in an evil war. And that beyond that, maybe now that we know, especially now, and I mm. hate to bring it up this way, you know, we hear reports that she's going back to your mother. Yeah, right. Who, who's just had a stroke. Strokes frequently produce blindness and par- paralysis. That's true. So maybe I got that aspect That's of true. it wrong as well. Um, whew, I didn't even think of that aspect with, with her mom, yeah. And yet, on the other hand, it may not even be she in. Correct. It may be something that is... Well, let me hear you say something also coincidental. Yeah. As George Ure has on his site, I believe, of a couple of days back, uh, I forget my dates, I'll have to go and check, but a couple of days before it happened, we came up with this uh, short-term immediacy value in the last posting, which would have been, I think, part five, that the uh, woman with dark aspect uh, should watch out that there was going to be a traffic accident or a um, mm. crash kind of a thing and that blah, 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 a bunch of words about an accident, and involved in this whole thing would be the uh, pictures being taken showing the, a plot where props and supports would have been knocked down or laid out. And, of course, uh, we know that a guy with a truck went through and knocked down right. all of the, the crosses. Yeah, right. Hmm. Yeah, because, like, and I didn't even think of that, I, you always think of something grander. Something on, on a much larger scale than some screwball knocking down a bunch of uh, crosses that they just put up. But it does meet the criteria, doesn't it? It does, in a, in a pretty straightforward kind of a way, yeah. especially when we point out that you know we frequently get, say, 45 or 50 percent of the details pretty okay. Hmm. All right, well, do you still feel it, it might be something... Totally outside of what we're talking about now. Totally outside of Cindy Sheehan. Totally outside of the guy running over the crosses. In the there truck. is still a huge probability of that. The reason I say probability is because if we were to take the um, way in which the data arises, then we don't have a separation at this point to suggest that the woman is actual and the dread companion is metaphoric. Right. Yeah. which would be required under the scenario we just talked about. At this point, we still have data indicating that they're both actual. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, we had placed back in June, I think, talked about the Dread Companion visiting the city in London, the economic district in London, which a few weeks later had a yeah. bombing. And it did. Correct. Yeah. 
And then we saw the Dread Companion going to the southeast of the United States. Now, yeah, for right. geogra geographic as well as um, uh, specific geographic references, such as city names or whatever, have to be really discounted in our work because they arise so frequently on the net, we can't really separate the wheat from the shaft, right? So we have a tendency to disregard anything that bubbles up in the normal course of events and only go with very deeply ingrained archetypical, archetypical references to uh, direction or location. It makes it very difficult to plot something. But, uh, for instance, we might have a million and a half geographic references. And so which one becomes meaningful in the context of a particular entity becomes a real problem. So early on we drop that, as well as dropping numbers. So that having been said, when they actually do finally bubble up through all of our filters, we have a tendency to pay a little bit more attention to them. So I would suggest that at this point, the, I don't have any real solid personal gut level feeling that Cindy Sheehan is indeed the uh, woman of dark aspect. Yeah. Hmm. Everything else has been so exact. I I I, I wonder if Southeast really is where the individual is, and it's not Cindy Sheen at all in the Southwest. Correct. Although we must point out, I think that Bush's ranch is more in the southeast of Texas. Well, yes. Uh, okay, but not, not, not southeast. Not in a general sense. I agree. Yeah. And we also had uh, an impression that the uh, woman was not able to travel, that she was bound by her uh, infirmities, and yeah. was herself outside the country. Hmm. So on the whole, hmm. I've, I've kind of been, you know, less than, than wholehearted in support of saying that this particular person matches that. Yeah. But there's nothing within our structure to say that an individual couldn't be viewed both ways, could not arise serendipitously within the populace entity, yeah. and also show up deterministically within the powers that be entity, and just be referencing different viewpoints of the same circumstances. Interesting concept. Where do you think, and how do you think, uh, Cindy Sheehan could could cause the uh, the results and have the powers that be, you know, the administration, what have you, quaking in their boots. Oh, well, that's easily understood. Wow. If one looks at things from a larger metadata level, I believe we've discussed that we had a metadata level change here, yeah. and we went from words associated with uh, union cohesion. Uh, those things that bind uh, people like constitutions and so on. Right. And we moved over to a period where we're, we've come into words representing militancy. Um, during this period of time, if we look at it from a metadata level, the fear that the powers that be might have would directly relate to um, Sheehan and could be viewed very easily, uh, metaphorically even, where the Dread Companion is her moral authority. Yeah, this yeah. cannot be questioned, right? They can do anything they want to trash her, right. but but they're in a funny position because they can't trash the dead hero. That's true. And the dead hero is her child, and she's claiming criminal waste. And so her moral authority is instantly more than theirs. Yeah. And so in that yeah. regard, I'm sure they're quaking in the boots about the whole situation. What now, about it may may also be that they're aware of the larger cycle, as some of us okay, are. Sure, yeah. If they are, then they should have real reason to um, uh, be concerned. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Um, what about the fact that maybe it, it doesn't affect it at all, is that even her family are turning away from her and calling her a nut. Her husband is divorcing her, uh, Her I, and I think it was her mother before she had a stroke, was saying, you know, don't do this, this is crazy, and her, I think her siblings are saying, you know, she is nuts. So she's standing out there all by herself, as far as the family goes. That again places her under a dark aspect, so it would have a tendency to push towards that kind of a view. Yeah, okay. Okay. I, I, now, realistically, we know that the um, uh, 
uh, Republican smear machine has been moved into place, or I shouldn't say it that way. I should rather I should say the uh, the Bushista uh, smear machine <laughs> has been moved into place, <laughs> okay. and they're attempting to do so. So that's a fear reaction. That's a yeah. response to the fear. Okay. All of the words that are coming out of them say indeed that they are quite afraid of the developing situation. Bear in mind now that. Um, People within the powers that be, which may be, let's just say, the invisible hand behind the people that run the White House, right? Yeah, right. Uh, these individuals may well be aware of giant cycles that are in play at the moment. And in fact, we know that they are aware of it because they've been exploiting such cycles in places in uh, Central Asia, for instance, with the recent Orange Rebellions that we've been seeing. Okay, a lot of those are uh, sponsored, if you will, by USA Dollars. Oh, I'm sure of that. Okay, but yeah. the movement, let's be real clear, the movement is legit. All these people are doing is harmonizing with their dollars <laughs> and giving, um, if you will, technical aid that helps everything go a lot smoother for television. Yeah. And ultimately the battles are won in television long before they're won in the streets. 